We have the latest now on that FAA computer, computer outage that grounded or delayed more than 7,000 flights today. Now at 6, passengers are experiencing that ripple effect from that system failure. Our Emma Henderson has the latest on the impact travelers are experiencing here at Cleveland Hopkins Airport. It's crazy because I woke up at like maybe 6 o'clock in the morning to this and then I kept... I wasn't getting any notifications. It kept saying my flight was on time. And then I was talking to my Airbnb host. And then he was like, yeah, your flight's probably going to be delayed. Christina Collier had plans today. Catch a flight, get home, run some errands, and be ready for the rest of the week. Now all these plans are on hold. Her story similar to Javante Payton's. He was in Cleveland for a Browns tryout ready to get home to warmer temperatures and his normal routine back in Nashville. Still unsure when that will be. We literally have to rebook, I think, like three flights already today because of how late the flights are. So really just sitting in the lobby. I'm really not trying to go through TSA right now, you know, because I really don't know what's going to go on. So just sitting in the lobby till around 6, trying to see what's going to go on, and if not, probably end up staying here for another day. These flight delays aren't random, but they are frustrating and come with a lot of questions. The FAA says a key safety system for pilots went down around 5 a.m. The system is important because it alerts pilots to runway and airspace conditions. The FBI says there's no indication of a cyber attack, and the FAA is working to find out what went wrong. Hopefully, you know, my flight don't get pushed back no longer where I have to stay here longer. So, you know, just trying to pray and hoping that I can get up out of here. And without explanations as to why, passengers have their own ideas. It's crazy that this is happening, but um, I'm blaming it on Mercury retrograde. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg says the system that was down is now back up and running. It's just a matter of getting these flights back on track and getting these delays back on time. In Cleveland, Emma Henderson, 3 News.